And good day, Friday, December 11th, 7.02 at night. Just met somebody and dropped off a framed photo of a bald eagle at the Salem Four Corners. And I'm home now, Jill's cooking dinner, making authentic tacos tonight. Uh, we've got a fire going and we are planning on uh, just kind of chilling out tonight. I don't know what the weekend is going to bring, but we are definitely gonna be vlogging. Well, I just brief the people that you're making authentic tacos tonight. So describe to me what an authentic taco is. So right now I have some green onion and peppers and shredded carrots, which is a little non-traditional, but love a little extra crunch in my food. Um, sauteing those, gonna start cooking the ground beef with them. I've got my taco seasoning ready to go. Um, and then I am going to be heating up authentic white corn tortillas. Now that's the part I'm excited for. All right, we will show you the finished product in a little bit. I worked at uh, Brandon and Mandy's house today and the Novak kids got me uh, a Christmas ornament. What do you think they got? <laughs> Look at that. That's really cute. They got me an owl. Uh, here's the message from them. Hi, Jill. <laughs> what do we have here? We got this for Frankie. What is it? It's an owl. It's an owl ornament. Oh, where's it going to go? On the Under Christmas tree. tree. And who picked it out? Me. Bowden picked it out. All of us, kind of. <laughs> All right. I love it. Thanks so much, guys. Here. I think you have a little bit of a salt. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> you actually got him! <laughs> Are those um, Mickey Mouse pancakes? <laughs> no. And good morning. It's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm not sure of the date, We're like a couple weeks away from Christmas here, but um, it's one of those bittersweet days today. Uh, to back it up, last night we had dinner, and geez, I ended up getting so tired after dinner that I uh, pretty much went right to bed. So I'm up early on a Saturday, and early for me is uh, 8 o'clock. But um, yeah, a little bit of a bittersweet day today because I'm about to take out my brand new chainsaw that I bought a month ago, and I've intentionally been letting it sit around because I like to look at it when it's brand new. But today, I'm gonna get some sawdust on that thing. So uh, let's head out to the wood pile. Okay, making my way down to my wood pile right now, and my goal for today is to get some of this slab wood cut up. I want some of it stacked on my pallets over here, and I want some of it in the wheelbarrow up at the house to dry out a little bit, and I want to start burning it to see how it burns. And when I say slab wood, this is the wood I'm talking about, the wood that's kind of cut in slabs here that we got from Condon Sawmill. You can see how it's quite slabby. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take the start on this pile, pull these ones out, and just uh, start cutting them up. All right, here we go. This is so bittersweet. I like want this thing to stay brand new forever. I know it's not going to, but uh, here we go. Here's the first start. I started this chainsaw up when I got home that day from um, the hardware store. I, I call it True Value Ace Hardware. I don't know what it is. Jill knows the name, but um, I let it run for a little bit and uh, here we go. We're going to try to start this thing right now. A little choke. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now you're supposed to bring it to the not full choke, the half choke. This thing should start right up. <laughs> Shoot. All right, here we go. I 
I got so excited that I forgot to get the wood ready first. Right, making way nicely. Been out here for uh, maybe 20 minutes and uh, I'm happy with what I got done so far. That includes like having to move the camera all around and doing all that stuff. I'm just a one man shot here today, but the impressions about the saw, love the way it feels, love the way it handles. It cuts sharp, obviously it does it because it's got a brand new saw on it. Thought it would have a little bit more high end power at the high end, I thought it would scream a little bit more, but um, nothing I'm complaining about. Uh, perfectly happy with it. Let's cut some wood. trying to beat the rain today but I guess that's what happens when you uh, sleep later than most people do but um yeah I got a nice little pile cut up right now and I'm going to uh, get this up to the garage before it gets too soaked and figure I'll let this dry out in the garage for a couple days and then we'll get to test the uh, the burn of the slab wood unfortunately the weather has made a turn for the worst and my day's gonna get cut short. I don't like when that happens. When I get in the zone to do something and I wanna do it, I don't wanna stop. I wanted to get at least one of those bundles cut up today. It's not gonna happen. I'm supposed to get some of the wood up here in a wheelbarrow. It's not gonna happen. Tomorrow's supposed to be a better day though, so maybe we can do some more tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday afternoon now, just before three o'clock. Kind of a rare moment for me. I'm sitting on the couch right now, and let me tell you what, it feels good. It's kind of like a crappy, just rainy day out there. Um, this afternoon, Jill and I went to her mom and dad's house over in Waterford because Kyle and the kids came down, so we went down to hang out for a little bit. I came home, and I'm just chilling out now, and the bobster is out on her own, getting some, uh, getting dialed in. Let's see what she's doing. And her hair did. I think I'm gonna take a nap right now and just catch up on some Z's and uh, maybe enjoy the, the late night tonight down here watching some YouTube. And good evening, it is Sunday. There was zero vlogging today on Sunday because I was a busy guy and I was out here stacking all this wood. Um, wow. This is the Sony a7S III right now, and I'm shooting at 102,400 ISO. It's basically, I mean, it's dark out here. And all those like big YouTubers say how that this camera can see in the dark, and this camera can actually see in the dark. I can't believe it, holy crap. Anyway, wow. All of that wood that you saw me cutting yesterday and stacking, that slab wood, well, I came out this morning around uh, 10 o'clock, uh, fired up the chainsaw and went to town. I got all of that wood cut up and all of the wood is stacked right here I'll turn the lights on in a second and uh, Jill helped me out this afternoon And this just feels so good to have all of this wood right here uh, Stacked up so it was a great day today There it is. That is the pile of wood. I'm gonna say from right there to right there is got to be 12 feet long and at the middle it's probably almost seven feet tall so you can see that I got uh, a tarp this afternoon so I'm gonna cover this wood right now because we are expecting rain tomorrow but look at that is that gorgeous so exciting how's this for some nice timing I'm out covering up the pile and the boxers pulling in what do you think of all this wood what do you think of all this wood I think it's great I love the shape of it, it looks scalloped it is. It's like J. Crew wood. Where were you? Um, all around the town, just bopping around. That's what I said when you got home. The boss was home. <sighs> I went to Food Works and Stop and Shop in Tri Town. Did all our meal planning for the week, and now I'm just we're all ready. We have everything we need. Yeah, that's we awesome. We just might need some jugs of water if we lose power with a snowstorm. We need a generator. Yeah. 
We're taking through. donations. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> see, you up, see you up at the house. Nice job. Hard work on the wood today. Thanks. Very proud of you. Thank you. Wasn't easy. You're strong like bull. <laughs> what do you think? Did I get a big enough tarp? <laughs> Covers everything. This is great. Check out the crib. Looks pretty good at night. We got the TV going in the in the lady lounge down there. You can see a little bit of Jill's uh, Christmas ornaments up there. Got the garage nice and lit up. Jill's parked inside tonight because we're supposed to get some weather. Ah, oh, we love it. 